Hi, I am in lesson eight of the Cypress Workshop, Web Cypress Workshop, and the topic is retriability. So I thought maybe we get to the bottom of this and clarify some issues and questions people have been having about retriability and should versus then. So this is all going to be about BDD style assertions and TDD style assertions the then context and the should context and when do we use CIRAP, okay? So there are four ways to do assertions with Cypress uh, as opposed to one that you've been used to with chest. And uh, the idea is retriability. So here we have a to-do app, we're adding four to-dos and then we're just checking the same thing in every test. We're checking that this UL, the list is visible, has this class to-do list, has some CSS properties, okay? So the first kind is the BDD style, the default Cypress style. What advantage it gives is it's readable like English and it will retry. So we'll grab the element and then, so this element it will grab and then it will make these assertions about it, okay? And this should, anything that comes after should uh, will be retried. So the visibility will be retried. And it's just an alias for should, so you could just replace these with and, it would do exactly the same thing, okay? So what's the takeaway? Should retries, BDD style is default for Cypress, that's that. So how does that work with the TDD world? You can grab that element and then expose it to the then context, the difference in the TDD style, the default TDD style is that things within the DAN context will not be retried. For instance, this UL to be visible isn't going to be retried right now. It's just that at this point, things are stable, right? It's, it's there, you don't have to rely on retryability, but the key is there will not be any built-in Cypress retries within the DAN context when you're using the TDD style. You can get around that. It's easy to get around. The only difference is you use should instead of then, right? Then, Cypress's then is very similar to your normal then, but it's slightly different underneath it. Should is just like then, but it will retry things that if you have written in the TDD style. So everything will work the same except with retryability. So if you like that style, should use should instead of then, so things can retry here. Now, what is the side wrap? And I, I did it in a few places. I see people repeating it, when to use it, when not to use it. So this is when you are in then context. So you're sort of kind of like the TDD example we gave you, but you want to sort of have the side with retryability and assertions, right? So that's when you wrap some something with side wrap. And then it yields an element passed into it. It could be an object, it could be something like promise, but it just yields that. Okay, so this is when you use CIRAP, when you're inside a then closure, and then you want to continue that BDD style of Cypress with some retries. Okay, so those are the four valid ones. BDD versus CDD, should versus then. Right, four ways of doing it. Now, someone would ask, hey, what would happen if I did should, uh, BDD start with, with it should right, instead of then, but then I also use side app. Wouldn't it be like double retry something going on? Well, uh, too much of something isn't good. It's just going to keep retrying for, for a long time. <laughs> so don't do that, okay? Don't do should context and side app. The valid ways are either BDD style, regular Cypress should and keep chaining, or you do TDD instead of then, you use should so it retries, or if you're in a then context, maybe like this is a side request and then drop, maybe then it's useful, right? You could also do this. So I would suggest these three styles of assertions using Cypress.